Hey guys, welcome to this video and it's time to show you the software on Samsung Galaxy 8 Plus and Galaxy A8. Now since both the phones have got the exact same software and software version, they have the same features and same specification. So for the sake of this video, I will only stick to Galaxy A8 Plus. So to start with, both the phones are running on Android version 7.1.1 and Samsung Experience version 8.5. So uh, let's start with the default launcher first. We get uh, this uh, Samsung default launcher. It's very intuitive. It's very well uh, developed now and uh, it has come a long way since uh, uh, earlier days of Samsung uh, software and the good thing is that all the time that I've been using these phones I didn't feel the need to download Nova launcher which is my favorite launcher so these are that good now obviously you get these home screens you can move the icons around app icons around and keep your apps the way that you want to keep them but you can also long press on apps now to get more options and you can go to app info uninstall them remove the shortcut and select multiple items now these options also depend upon whether you are long pressing on a system app or a downloaded app so for something like Facebook it will give you a different set of options so you can remove the shortcut move it to a folder clear the badge disable it and uh, go to app info now there is also Bixby here so if you swipe to the right you get to Bixby and obviously to use it you need a Wi-Fi connection or internet otherwise you will not be able to use it and if you don't want Bixby around you can long press on any home screen go to the Bixby home turn it off go back and it will disappear and will not bother you anymore now if you long press on any home screen it gives you some more features here you can actually delete these home screens you can add more home screens and you can rearrange the app icons as well so if you tap on this icon at the top it will rearrange all the app shortcuts to the top and if you tap this icon at the bottom it will move or rearrange all the app shortcuts to the bottom now here you get some more options wallpaper and themes you can go to widgets and you can go to home screen settings so if we go in here we get to home screen layout and in home screen layout we have two options home and apps screen so you get a home screen and you get an app drawer but you can also go home screen only and remove the drawer altogether so all your apps will reside on the home screens you can do that and then you can change the number of app shortcuts that you can keep on any home screen you can go all the way to 5x6 or 4x5 I like it 5x5 and that is how I keep it you can also change the number of apps that you can keep in app drawer and here you can actually go 5x6 and 4x6 I like to have maximum number of apps on a single app drawer screen and that is why I have chosen 5x6 down below we have got apps button here so this actually allows you to show up the apps button so if I tap on show apps button and press apply and go back you will now get an apps button you can tap on it to enter the app drawer you still have the ability to swipe up to go to the app drawer and swipe up again to go back but if you don't want that around you can simply hide it and use swipe up gesture to go into the app drawer and go back now here you get another option and that is to quick open the notification panel so you can simply swipe down on any home screen anywhere to open the notification panel and swipe again to expand it but you can also turn this feature off and simply turn it off go back and when you swipe down again it will lead you to the app drawer and you can swipe down again to go back but it is a good idea to keep this feature on uh, to swipe down to open the notification panel because the screen is really tall and sometimes it becomes really difficult uh, to reach all the way to the top to expand the notification panel down below you have the ability to hide apps as well so you can go in here select any app and press apply the app will be hidden and you can come back in here and unselect the app and it will be unhidden and finally we have got search phone here as well so in search phone you can actually search the phone this is a universal search for uh, galaxy phones here you can search for any file any app any contact or any feature so for example if I go for Bluetooth it will give me Bluetooth right here so I don't have to go into settings and look for it you can look for features directly into the uh, search here Moving on, let's take a look at the notification panel here. So you can swipe it down to see your notification shortcuts, brightness slider, and you can swipe it down again to expand it. And here you can see that we have two pages of notification shortcuts. You can edit it further. So you can change the button order. You can go in here, edit it, and press done. And you can also 
uh, change the button grid so you can actually uh, change how many icons you want to see on one page you can go 5 by 3 or even 4 by 3 if you want less clutter in your notification panel so you can do that as well down below we have got a panel for brightness here so you can tap this button here turn on auto brightness and set this brightness slider to show on top so as it is if I swipe down I get the brightness controller right here but if I turn off uh, show control on top and press done and go back now I will not get the brightness slider here so if you want the brightness slider here you have to turn on show control on top and press done now if we go in settings here we get tons of features here that are hidden in uh, side the settings app and you can find them by simply searching for them so for example if I want to search for Bluetooth and I don't want to go in the settings and look for it I can simply search for it and it gives you the shortcut instantly and then you can go there right away and then obviously we've got connections Wi-Fi Bluetooth phone visibility data usage flight mode NFC payment mobile hotspot sim card manager location they are here sound and vibration here you can control the sound mode your uh, key tap modes your system sounds as well your key tap feedback is here as well and down below you can change the sound quality and effects uh, so this one is for the music when you're listening through the headphones and then we have got notification settings and here you can actually change the notification settings for every app individually whether you want them to show silently or uh, create a sound so you can do that from here how much information you want to show up on the lock screen or you want it hidden you can also do that from here down below we have got display settings so here you can again control brightness auto brightness turn on blue light filter screen mode now screen mode actually gives you these different options that actually change the tone of the screen you can select them and choose which one suits you and apply that down below we have got screen zoom and font here you can change how much information you want on the screen so you can increase or decrease the font size you can do that you can change the font from down below as well then we have got full screen app settings so this is for the apps that have not been updated to match the taller display on A8 you can go ahead and turn on these apps from here and they will fill up the entire screen and we've got easy mode here icon frames LED indicator status bar if we go in here you can turn on battery percentage show recent notifications screen timeout block accidental touches when the phone is in your pocket or purse screen saver you can turn that on as well moving on we have wallpapers and themes here you can download wallpapers you can download themes you can download icon packs and give your phone your own unique look if you want and then we get to the exciting part which is the advanced features and here most of the stuff lives here that you want so we have got smart stay so as long as you're looking at the display it will not turn off we have got a game launcher here so if you turn on the game launcher you get this game launcher folder all your games are accumulated in one place you can turn them you can start playing the game in high performance mode, in power saving mode or in normal performance mode. You can mute the game and you can turn off any alerts when you are playing the game. Then you can also turn on the one handed mode which can actually uh, you know, decrease the screen size. So if you tap the home button three times it will reduce the screen size. You can move it around right or left and tap outside the screen to make it full screen again. You can also use the gesture to do the same from the low right and left corner swipe up and it will reduce the screen size moving on we've got finger sensor gestures so if you turn this feature on it actually allows you to swipe down on the fingerprint scanner to expand the notification panel swipe it back up to remove it and then uh, you can also turn on quick launch camera so if you turn this feature on you can double press the power button to turn on the camera quickly uh, no matter wherever you are on the phone you can do that we've got multi window here as well so it's the same as it works on note 8 you can tap the recents button and then tap this button to launch the multi window mode and then launch two apps side by side and you can also launch apps in pop up view action so all the apps that support multi window also support pop up view action so you can swipe down from the top right and left corner towards the middle of the display and decrease the app size and then minimize it into this floating head and then you can remove it as well then we've got smart capture here as well so if you take a screenshot it gives you some more options down below you can go to Bixby VN you can scroll capture it so if you scroll capture it it will swipe down and take a screenshot of the entire page and uh, you get even more options here such as 
sharing the screenshot and stuff like that and editing it as well then we have got palm swipe to capture so you can swipe your palm across the display to take a screenshot so there you go it has taken a screenshot and you get the same exact features and then we have got direct call so if you've got a message from a certain contact or you are looking at the contact details of a specific person you can simply raise the phone to your ear and it will start calling that person then there is smart alert now this actually allows the phone to vibrate when it is face down and you have got a notification and you pick up the phone it will vibrate to tell you that you have got some notifications easy mute so if you're getting a call or if your alarm is ringing you can simply put it face down to mute your phone so you can do that we also have dual messenger here sos messages and direct share for sharing stuff to different apps next up we have got device maintenance so if we go in here we get the battery manager storage manager memory manager and device security you can tap the optimize now button to uh, optimize your phone it does what it has to do to optimize the functioning of your phone but if we go in battery here you can actually uh, go and access the power saving modes here so we've got mid power saving mode max power saving mode and here you can see all the apps that are using the battery you can turn them off by tapping the save power button i've got an entire video on the battery manager i will link that up and you can take a look at that video then we have got apps and app permissions so all the apps that you have on your phone are here you can change the permissions and uh, see all the enabled apps and disabled apps so stuff like that resides here and then we've got lock screen security you can set up lock types face recognition fingerprint scanner we have smart lock so you can uh, you know link up another device with this phone we've got secure lock settings always on display is also here notifications app shortcuts on the lock screen so if i turn off the display and go back so these are the shortcuts that you can modify we've got samsung pass find my mobile in case your phone is stolen unknown sources so these are the apps that you want to download from other than the play store that's here secure folder is here as well app permission monitor secure startup encrypt sd card so if you're using an sd card you can encrypt that as well then we've got clouds and accounts google settings accessibility general management where you can manage date and time and stuff like that and then we've got software updates user manual and about phone where all the information about your phone resides now camera app has also been much improved you can swipe to the left to get your filters swipe to the right to get to your modes we've got auto mode pro mode panorama hyperlapse night and food you can even download more from the galaxy app store up here we've got settings flash you can tap this button to fill up the display uh, with the camera viewfinder and then we've got the button for the front camera but if we go in settings here you can change the picture size you can change the video size you can turn on the timer you can turn on auto hdr and for front camera again we have got same features you can change the picture size go for the video size save pictures as preview shooting methods so for the front camera you can tap on screen to take the photo or show your palm to take the photo again you have timer and auto hdr for front camera as well turn on video stabilization location tags review pictures quick launch you can turn this feature on from here as well so double pressing the power button will launch the camera voice control is here as well so you can say smile cheese capture shoot to start taking photos or shooting video and then we've got floating camera button now if you turn this feature on and go back you get this floating button here and just tap on it to take the photo next up we have got volume key functions here so you can use these volume keys to take pictures record video zoom in and out or for system volume and then obviously you've got the option to reset all the settings so guys that was the entire software walkthrough of samsung galaxy 8 plus now everything that i've shown you here also applies to a8 as well so both the phones have got the same software same features and same specifications and that's about it from this video if there is anything that i've left out you can still ask me in the comments and i will reply to that and i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye